Other early memories from Cambridge were include taking on a special train to see the eclipse in 1925, I think, mm -hmm. and also taking a special train to see an eclipse in 1926. So I saw two solar eclipses. They are both, both wintries in my memory, and those are the days when they ran special trains to things like that. Then I saw uh, as an aside, uh, the total eclipse of August 31, 1932, that time in New Hampshire. So by the time I was, whatever it is, 13 or something, I'd seen three total solar eclipses. And I haven't seen one since. It, it rained in Orono in 1963. And that's that's the, only, the only other one I tried to go to. Only a couple or so years later was this marvelous total eclipse of 1925 that I remember as though it were now, which was one of the most uh, emotionally moving and thrilling experiences I ever had. I was 11 years of age and uh, remember uh, how I stood at a certain place which uh, was at a height. In other words, it was a nice, clear view. It was a beautifully clear day in New York, and I remember uh, seeing the uh, eclipse uh, progressing to totality with all the streamers and all of the uh, various phenomena and the darkness and the stillness. I mean, it was just an enormous experience that has lived with me always. And... Uh, what time of day did that come? That came as... A, I may be wrong, but my recollection is that it was in the late morning. That I, I somehow feel that it was sometime around 11 o'clock. I was in chemistry until into my junior year, I almost had completed a major in chemistry and Miss Young's introductory astronomy plus the total eclipse of January 24th, 1925 locked me into astronomy for the rest of my life. 